Building Information Modeling, or BIM, represents the use of digital models in the design, construction, and operation of a building. I asked Dr. Salman Azir, Assistant Professor in the McWhorter School of Building Science at Auburn University, to tell me about his project regarding BIM. Uh, information Modeling represents the development and use of digital models to simulate the planning, design, construction and operation of a facility. How is it different from the conventional CAD systems? Normally what happens is that whenever there is a project, the architects first prepare its two-dimensional or three-dimensional drawings. Later on these drawings are used by the engineers or by the contractors to prepare the designs or cost estimates. Since each stakeholder is working independently, so there could be a lot of inconsistencies and that's why we see a lot of increase in the project budget and construction time once the project proceeds. What happens in building information modeling, we prepare a virtual model of the facility. And now each stakeholder before the construction, they can look at the model, they can see if there are any design conflicts or any scope clarification and resolve them before the construction well, What would begins. be the impact of this technology on the electrical contractors? In fact, it would impact every phase of the electrical construction starting from design, from procurement up to operations and maintenance. For example, electrical contractors can prepare a three-dimensional model and it will automatically compute the estimates or quantities for them so they don't have to prepare their schedules or the cost estimates. So what would be the main contribution of your project? in regards to BIM for electrical contractors? In fact, at this stage, most of the electrical contractors have heard the name of BIM, but they don't know much about it, and they don't know how to implement it. So this project will look into the details that what are the main benefits of BIM for electrical contractors and how they can implement it in their organizations. What do you think of this process of electrical contractors from all around the country? coming here to listen to your research project? I think it's a terrific process because before coming to the meeting, I was expecting that there may be few contractors and I was not sure that what, how they will contribute, but here I found that they're contributing a lot, particularly about the field issues which they're facing and somehow they want to connect with the researchers so that they can conduct research on those topics which are related with the electrical construction industry.